age. He's a good guy deep down. He just wants the best for the school. You seem to care an awful lot about him. Look, I, I, I wanted to talk to you, actually, about earlier. It's all right, Kim, I know. I saw you and Max together last week after school. I didn't mean to tell you, I, I just... You didn't. Look, your private life is none of my business anyway. I know, I know, but I, I didn't want you to think that I was going behind your back. Max is such a, a private person. Okay. Um, the LEA reps arrived. They're early. It's all right, I can speak with them. No, it's fine, I'll do the introductions myself. No, the old. Uh, Max, this is uh, Jennifer Headley from the LEA. Have you met before? Of course. Good to see you again. I've uh, just been telling Jennifer about the tours and things. Do you want me to show her around? Uh, do you know what? I'll take Jennifer around myself one to one. Gives us a chance to catch up. How are things going today? A lot easier if certain members of staff let me get on with my job. Rachel. She thinks she has an answer for everything. Oh, sounds like someone else I know. Isn't there some clause you can use to get rid of her? I'm not here to make an assessment, Max. The governors can make up their own mind about Rachel's capabilities. And our relationship stands for nothing, does it? No, this is business, remember? Now, when you see what I've done with her kids, just remember it's my initiatives and not hers that have done it. Jen? Long time no see. How are you? Good, thanks. You? Uh, same as always, keeping Max in check. We need to keep a closer eye by the look of it. Why, right, what's all? Chris, uh, look, could you close this corridor off for me, please? I don't want any parents coming down here. You sure? Is Ruby okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. Is there anything I can do? Uh, maybe you could just wait in the hall while I've got this sorted out. Oh, we should be around for dinner soon. It's been too long. Uh, sounds great. Chris, uh, I could do with the people not knowing I'm married, okay? Especially not Kim. What's going on? You and Kim. I can really do with your help today, Chris. Oh, for God's sake. So just help me sort this out. Keep an eye on Jennifer, okay? Please. It's a boys only chat, is it? Uh, I've just got a bit of a situation in there. Right, uh, do you want to call him a quick word? Yeah. I'll leave this with you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So they're left. If you could minutes. carry on straight down to the next class along, please, ladies and gents. I'm afraid we've had a bit of a spillage up here. Um, I'll come and catch up with you. What's going on? It's been a bit of an incident with Ruby at the lunch. It's not serious, is it? I'm not sure. You'll have to ask Max. Oh, Chris, you know that this woman we've got in at the moment from the LEA, Jennifer Hadley, do you know anything about her? She's just the usual local authority troubleshooter, I think. Mm. Jennifer? Are you okay? Uh, Max was just looking for you. Oh, he was busy. I thought I'd show myself around. <laughs> Maybe we could have a chat instead. I could probably do with a different perspective for once. Uh, have you and Max met a few times before, then? You could say that, yeah. Jennifer? <laughs> Max has asked me to talk to you about some of the things that we're doing in science. Is now a good time? Yeah. Looks like we'll have to do this later, then. Yeah. Uh, enjoy. It's great that you're getting the kids so involved with the sciences. Well, my teacher always made it sound so exciting when I was a kid. If I can infuse them half as much as he did me. Hi, uh, Christopher been looking after you. Yeah, he's been very attentive. Just need to have a word with him. Uh, if you want to go through to the hall, we'll join you. I think I can probably move around a hall unaided, Max. Are they OK? I'm really not happy about being dragged into all this. I know, I appreciate it. How long are you going to keep it up? And what about Kim? Are you ever going to tell her that you're married? Uh, Jen and I have been on the rocks for a long time. Whatever you think, I'm serious about Kim. Just not serious enough to be honest with her. What's happening with this lunch? Someone's starting to get hungry. I'm going to have to wait. Uh, guys, if you'd like to follow me, we'll just go and see Mr Clarkson and the football match in action before lunch, OK? Chris. 
Chris, I don't think I can take much more of this. What? He's been bad-mouthing Waterloo Road all day, hanging his own staff out to dry it, and it's acting like everything's OK when it just isn't. And I think that someone should let Jonathan know the truth. Rachel. What? There's something you should know about her and Max before you say anything. Come on. They're married? Yeah. He's full of surprises. Oh, you don't know the half of it. You know about Kim, then? Oh. Chris, I can't keep pretending to myself that I stand a chance here anymore. Max clearly wants me out. His wife's in charge of the borough. If he wanted to use his wife to get rid of you, he'd have done it ages ago. But trust me, he's got far more to worry about in this than you have. Look, if people start thinking that he only got the job because of her, he'd be finished. Believe me. Maybe you've really done wonders with this lunch. <laughs> mm, corned beef. Well done, Ruby. It makes a refreshing change to have some good, honest fare instead of the usual poncy nonsense you get at these things. Mm, I'm not lucky to get anything at all after this afternoon's performance. Look, I'm, I am sorry about what happened earlier, and I know that I didn't, I didn't handle it very well. I wouldn't dwell on it, Ruby, really. We've all allowed our personal lives to affect our work at one time or another, haven't we? We try to support our staff whenever we can, don't we, Max? Yes, Max. Why don't you show your support for your team for once instead of trying to take all the credit for yourself? Excuse me, everyone, if I could have your attention, please. Uh, <clears throat> I'd just like to say a very big, a very big thank you and congratulations to all our, all our staff, old and new, who have been working behind the scenes today to make sure that uh, this merger and open day has been such a great success. I'm sure that all our visitors will agree with me when I say that we couldn't have found a better school to join than Waterloo Road. I'm so sorry we didn't get a chance to speak earlier today. No, no. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, sorry, I think that uh, we better get you going. Your taxi will be waiting. Right. It was nice to meet you, though. Maybe next time. Yes. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> oh. Rachel. Oh, Jennifer, I thought you'd gone. I want to say thanks for today. I think you've done a really great job with the schools. Oh. Well, it wasn't all my doing. It's a team effort, you know. Of course. But I wanted to congratulate you personally. I know Max can be tough, and I'm glad to see you're up to the job. Thank you. That's good to know. His bark's worse than his bite, trust me. Look, if you ever need my help, just give me a call. I know a trick or two uh, to keep him in line. Thank you, Jennifer. OK, bye. See you. Can I have a word? Can you wait till tomorrow? Not really. So I'll wait. What is it now? What's this? Just a little video reminder of what we got up to last year on the school trip. Something I'm sure you'd hate to get into the wrong hands. What are you trying to say, Helen? I'm saying that... I'm saying you just better be careful how you treat me in future. Just you listen here. No, you listen to me, Max. I'm sick of being pushed aside all the time. You know, pretending nothing ever happened, so... Unless you start treating me with a bit more respect, then there's plenty more copies where this came from. Go home, Helen. <laughs>